Hello folks, and welcome to the quarry. Yes, that's right, another supermassive game, straight uh, back to back with the uh, finale of the Dark Anthology series, season one behind us. I'm now jumping into another supermassive game, this time published by 2K. And uh, yes, we've got some... Uh, Excellent uh, faces from other horror genres in this game, so I'm looking forward to playing this one. Um, however, I do know a little bit about what's going on in this game. Now, you'll notice that I've got a continue sign here. That's because I started initially and was like, oh crap, I need to turn on the uh, alternate music and stuff, and it just kind of scrubbed up the beginning. So I'm restarting. I've literally seen a moonlight and a travel through trees, and that's about it. So I, I only know a little bit about the beginning because I've seen a bit of the demo playthrough when it was released but beyond that I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen so let's see how many campers we can get killed in the quarry we'll go with a new game let's giggity go the brightest of moons David Arquette Evan, Evan Goria. Gora. What? Why did I say Ia? Oh my god. It's a car in the background. Skylar Gizondo. Wrapped up in my lover's arms. And then we got Lance Henriksen. Ted Raimi! Man's a legend. Miles Robbins. Can we get in the car to turn the radio off? Because I, I, I'm dubious about this alternate music. Halston Sage. Lynn Shea. i got to say, though, the, the, the alternate music is giving me a very indie feel. Brenda Sean. This this is this is definitely very early like eighties movie vibes. Zach Tinker. Siobhan Williams. So are we being hunted right now? Who knows? Because I certainly don't. And Grace Sabrisky. Twenty-three fifty, June twenty-four, Laura. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. We're Begins lost. with an L, <laughs> like the L word. Lesbians? <laughs> lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Geographic flux. <laughs> oh, hey up. What the shit? Take a moment to consider the following as you will guide you through the various twists and turns that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are quick time events, or QTEs, which will help you to act at just the right time. Watch your step. Hackett's Quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. The path you tread is yours to choose, but that doesn't mean there won't be obstacles along the way. Just got to do with gators. Oh, heads up! Oh, oh! Nice catch there, Han. Oh, I'm not the one who hit the pothole. Have I got a? Okay, well, so I'm maybe the pothole hit us. Ever think about that? 
Wow, what are you doing that is that? like Olympic level goalpost moving. Thank you. Very impressive. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, still totally lost. Mm. I'm gonna mess this up so bad. You know what, Max? It's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so... Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay, we've got a bag. Uh, pick map, pick, pick leaflet. Map, leaflet, leaflet, map. Pick. Uh, voila! What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, what happened to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. Oh my god. No bars. Of course not. <laughs> okay, let's see. So we are... Well, I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? Hey, eyes on the road! Whoa! Slide the mouse right, or do I have to push a button in that direction? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Oh, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? Well, the car's nuked. I really have this car up. Oh, no. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Damn it, I'm not sure I'm getting these QTEs, man. <laughs> I don't know whether or not it's suggesting that I've got to swipe my mouse in that direction, or if I've got to push a button in that direction. Uh, okay, interrupts. What's this then? At certain times throughout the night, opportunities will present themselves, giving you the chance to take matters into your own hands. It is worth noting that they are only suggestions. You don't have to act upon them. In fact, sometimes it's better not to. Okay, after some time looking, I, ha I still haven't been able to figure it out. So if I'm going to keep botching these QTEs, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think character's going to die. Oh, gives me the option to snoop. I think the only other option I may have to me would be to have the QTEs be automatic, but that just seems like cheating. Oh, rejected. Mr. Max Brindley. Why didn't you tell me? Ooh, thanks for your interest in Mandis University. But uh, he got rejected. Thanks, honey. Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. There you go. Perfect, thank you. 
sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then, picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space heater. Well, anywhere's better than here. So I actually actively had to push. Creepy old lady. Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. Compliant, defiant. What? You're not the boss of me. I just don't want you wandering off on your own. Excuse me. That's not what I meant. Yeah, it better not be. I, I'm sorry. I, I really got to concentrate for a second, okay. okay? Yes. Look, I think there's someone down there, okay? What's that? They could be hurt. I'm going to go check it out. Don't be a bit of a bitch to a boy. <laughs> oh, dear. Good idea, Laura. So thoughtful of you. Are you that much of a klutz? Jesus. Maybe you should go back to the car. Rose. Arrow found the fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom, or recklessness and risk-taking, spontaneity, actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think, think, and don't get burnt. Oh god, the keys for this game are so weird, mate. Harem, sca harem Scarum poster. This is a poster for the Travelling Sideshow. It looks like it's been here a while. Left forgotten in the woods. Are those burn marks around the edges? The Harem Scarum. At least the... Um, Good God, I might—I don't know if I might have to turn the sensitivity down on my mouse. Jesus. Go this way. Silence. Jesus Christ. woman walking through the woods looking for Silas. What are you doing out this far in the deep ass woods? Okay. Oh, 
that purse, the freaking... Yeah, no, that, I saw it too. old lady. I did check it, and it was fine. Honey, I know you're on edge, but you gotta calm down, okay? I am not on edge, Max. I'm freaking the fuck out. It was probably just an animal or no, something. No, it wasn't an animal. You didn't see it. It was a woman. Lord, or this isn't helping, all right? Go. There we go. We're good. See? Please just get us out of here. Okay. Oh, out of sync. Hey. I'm trying. I'm trying. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jeez! Oh, ah! fuck! Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. As the Hi, boy. Officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Mm -hmm. Blood in his neck. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Ooh, path chosen. What's this? Hackett's quarry is full of twists and turns, unknown paths and unexplored wonders. <laughs> with each step taken, you tread a path of your own, matched with its very own consequences. There will be moments throughout your stay that show you that the choices you've made, the path you've chosen, could have gone another way. At Hackett's Quarry, there's no such thing as the wrong way. But be warned, some paths are more dangerous than others. <laughs> That's quite funny. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, um... Mm, honest, uh... We, um... Uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and... You now here we are. Something jumped out? I'm sorry, it was, it was so dark, and it happened so fast, and they were gone. They? Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. Sir? Keep the car running. Sir? Is this kind of like... The all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, huh? I'm not a criminal. 
Oh, damn. <laughs> You folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night? Yeah, we're heading to camp. Let's we're heading honest. up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out. You know, I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. You're not going to make it to Haggett's Quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh... I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Uh, let's, let's ask why not. With all due respect, sir, why can't we go to Hackett's Quarry? Because I told you to go to the motel. Okay, I just don't understand what the problem- Ma'am, please step out of the vehicle. Whoa. What? Why? Officer, she didn't do anything. Ma'am, if you wouldn't mind stepping out of the vehicle, I would just like to show you a route on your map there. Okay. For sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Ted Raimi being all badass. <laughs> Okay, so we are right about here, Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's Quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. I'm gonna say... <laughs> creepiest fucking cop ever, mate. Why is this guy just sitting there? Uh, yeah, relieved. Just giving me major weirdo. The dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to. Meet you. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, man. <sighs> All right, let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So, where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know, I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> Very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. 
Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am. You should have listened to oh Ramey. Oh my god. If he called me ma'am one more time, I was going to shove that badge up his dick. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I, 20 is debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into ma'ams. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> oh boy. Back at Quarry Summit Camp. You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This. This is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll yeah. be the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go to the motel. Hotel. Whatever. What, why get, I mean, why get upset about, you know, shit that is completely out of your control? Just, you, you think to yourself, cool, blimey, okay, so I can't get in it. Well, you know, the cop did give me a hotel that I could go to. Perhaps maybe we should go there, you know? But no, in true movie, horror movie fashion, We've got to look around the dangerous place that's dark and dingy and scary. Because why wouldn't you? Am I right? Let's have a look around here. Anything? Because, I mean, let me tell you, I wouldn't want to be stuck around here in the middle of the woods, nobody around. Oh, this flashlight is so sensitive. Is anybody home? I think you already tried that. It's open. Oh, damn it. Well, sometimes you just gotta face facts. Hello, right, what's this? Poor pork. What well, doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Can we, oh god. Oh, the camera angles. Let's see if we can investigate the car over here. This game is probably so much easier Laura, to play with no the controller. Come on. Just give me one more minute, okay? Okay. Nothing at the car, no interactables here. I know where this game wants me to go. It wants me to head towards that increasingly creepy door there. Hey, you ready to roll? Uh, yeah, can I get in the car please? I want to do the sensible thing. Come on. Let's go to the hotel. We don't need... Fine. 
game. You're going to make me do it, aren't you? You're going to make me do the stupid thing. The thing that we all scream at the TV for the bloody protagonists. All the stupid kids that are about to die at the beginning of the movie do. When they know they should be turning around and going home. <laughs> I could tell that that didn't look like a person. Max! And I'm a dumbass. Max, get over here! What's going on? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring some tools so we can break the law. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Hey. hey. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know. You just said tools. Why didn't you just bring... Look, there's someone in there. Um, I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so... Let's take the rent. You sure? Or wrenches? Yeah, I saw it online. I mean, who doesn't watch stupid YouTube videos? Ah, God, that. Ah, sorry. Damn. <laughs> you need a hand? Yeah. <laughs> Don't do it. You've seen the evil dad, right? <laughs> this man knows me. Hello? Why would you go into the creepy freaking bunker? Are you hurt? Do you exist? Another spanner there. Wrench, whatever you want to call it. Hey, be careful. Of course, we've got a pair of freaking spanners here. I love how he's just going to sit this one out. Oh, we're just going to pop to the menu quickly because uh, I'm going to I'm going to put the uh, 30 FPS limiter on. Uh, I know that's probably going to suck. But I don't think this game is actually designed to go much more over that. And I want to try and avoid any more lip sync issues. Okay, the, the FPS limiter is actually hot garbage. So we're going to turn that off. Uh, it, my poor computer can't, can't handle this game, I don't think. Oh, quality preset. Let's... Uh, no, we don't want ultra. Let's let's go high. Get rid of some of that ultra stuff. Oh, that's a bit better. It might not look as pretty, but I'd much rather have a smoother experience than I would a. a pretty looking experience man i come from the days of uh treasure island dizzy and stuff graphics has never been that much of a uh a big issue for me to be honest and i do honestly think that the industry leans far too heavily on graphical fidelity bloodied collar this bloody collar looks to be too big for a dog. What kind of dog would be called Ian anyway? I don't know. I'm going to get a dog now and call it Ian. <laughs> hey. 
Max? This game isn't going to let me do the sensible thing and just, you know, leave. Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey, it's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... <laughs> Try and help him. This is the shock setting right in, because I tell you, I I'd be doing my best to get out them bloody stairs, not freaking. Tried to tell him, Ted. Oh, you tried to warn him. Is it slide of hand that commands my heart to love you? Every little movement. So Max is dead. Laura's been injected with something. See what happens. Magic spell you put me under. That's a big old moon. Never let it in. The quarry. Okay. Well, <clears throat> hello, what's going on here? Oh, is this going to be like the, uh... Hello, my friend. Welcome to the show. Hello! We are friends, aren't we? When are you the one crawling around in the woods? I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. This is the card you found. The fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Yo. Innocence and freedom. 
all recklessness and risk-taking, spontaneity, actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think, think, and don't get burnt. I can show you more if you'd like me to. Let's, uh, see more. This is what might come to pass. A possible future. A path yet unchosen. Look here, look here. Okay. Damn. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Okay, that's going to be a premise of the story then. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Right. Before we kick in, apparently we're playing as this chap here. We're going to end that part here for now. So, um, <clears throat> thank you very much for watching the first installment and the prologue chapter to the quarry. I'm uh, quite keen to see what's going to happen to, I don't know, this fella, Jacob, by the looks of things, and his friends. <laughs> Until then, folks, I'll catch you all in the next one. Take it easy. Bye-bye.